Hi guys, welcome to our video 3.5, Balancing Equations. Now, well, this is brand new to you, but first I'm going to talk about why we have to balance equations. And that's because of the law of conservation of matter and energy. And that states that neither matter nor energy can be created or destroyed. So basically that means that in a chemical reaction, the reactants on the left must equal the products on the right in both mass and the amounts of each element. And in order to do this, we have to balance the equations. Okay, so a couple other things, terms to go through when we're talking about balancing equations. First one is the coefficient. That's the integer in front of an element or compound, which indicates the number of moles present. All right, so for example, let's take uh, we have hydrogen in nature, right? Hydrogen is H2, it's a gas, plus oxygen, O2, which is a gas. I'm going to make water. And let's just say it's liquid water. Okay? And the number that goes in front of each of these is the coefficient. Now, if there's nothing there, it's understood to be a 1. So right now, each of these has a coefficient of 1. The subscript is the integer to the lower right of an element, which indicates the number of atoms present. So there's a 2 here, there's a 2 here, there's a 2 here. There's nothing here, so it's understood to be a 1. Species refers to each individual reactant and or product in a chemical reaction. Okay, so each one of these would be referred to as a species. A hint when we're balancing equations, and as we get into, into some examples, I'll show you these. But you're going to treat polyatomic ions as a single unit. So when we're balancing out the different elements in the equation, when we come across a polyatomic ion, if you see the same polyatomic ion on the left and on the right, then you can treat it as if it's one unit. All right, very important. What do we use to balance equations? Coefficients only. We never change the subscript. We cannot change these numbers, okay? We can only change coefficients. Okay, so there's gonna be a bunch of steps and initially we're going to go through these steps and rules but as we get into the process of balancing equations you'll see that it's a lot easier than these steps make it seem all right so step one draw a line to separate products from reactants so if we do down here right i have h2 i'm going to leave out the gas and the liquid stuff plus o2 yield h2o okay so I'll just draw a little line here to separate the products from reactants. List each of the different elements on each side of the line. So on this side, right, I have hydrogen and I have oxygen. Same on this side, I have hydrogen and I have oxygen. Step three, count up the number of atoms on each side and record it next to the element symbol. So on the left, I have two hydrogens and two oxygens. On the right, I have two hydrogens and one oxygen. So I can see right here that it's not balanced. Step four, find the most complex compound in the equation. In this case, that'll be water. Balance the elements in that compound on the opposite side of the arrow by changing the coefficients for the different species. Whew, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to look here and see the hydrogens match, but now I have to balance the oxygens. So if I have two oxygens on the left and one on the right, what do I have to do? Well, I need to get two on the right. Well, if I put a two in front of this, now, I've balanced my oxygens. Okay, now I have two oxygens on this side. But also, now I have four hydrogens. So that brings me to step five. I'm oh, sorry. Every time you change a coefficient, you must update the number of each element, like I just did here. That brings me to step five. I need to continue balancing the elements by changing coefficients until you have the same number of each element on both sides of the equation. <sighs> what does that mean? Well, at this point in time, right, there's two oxygens on each side, but now I have two hydrogens on the left and four on the right. So I need to somehow get four 
hydrogen is on the left. Well, if I multiply this 2 by 2 by putting a coefficient here, now I have 4 hydrogens on the left. Let's double check. 2 times 2, 4 hydrogens on the left, 2 oxygens on the right. 2 times 2, 4 hydrogens on the left, 2 times 1 for 2 oxygens on the right. 4 hydrogens on the left, 4 hydrogens on the right. 2 oxygens on the left, 2 oxygens on the right. I am done balancing my equation. Alright, I'll do a couple more examples for you. So here, right, I have N2 plus H2 yields NH3. So I have N, N, H, N, N, H. I have two N's, two H's. I have one N, three H's. This one's going to be a little trickier. Well, let's see. If, let's say I double the number of nitrogens on this side by putting a two here. So that gives me two nitrogens. But now it also gives me six hydrogens. Well, my nitrogens are balanced, but I need to get more hydrogens on the left. So two times what gives me six? Well, if I put a three here, three times two is six, and I didn't change anything else. And I have two nitrogens on the left, two on the right, six hydrogens on the left, six hydrogens on the right, and now it's balanced. Okay? So here. Magnesium, I have one. Oxygen, I have two. Magnesium, I have one. Oxygen, I have one. So if I put a two here, that gives me two of each of these. And now if I put a two in front of the magnesium, that changes this to a two, and I have balance. See, I'm just going step by step. All right, same thing. Calcium, one. Oxygen, two. Calcium, one. Oxygen, one. Well, let's see. I need two oxygens over here, so I put a two here. That gives me two oxygens, but it also gives me two calciums. But if I put a two here, that gives me two calcium. Nice and easy. All right, so now this one's a little more complicated. Well, let's see here. Remember what I said earlier as a hint. If I see a polyatomic ion, the same polyatomic ion on the left and on the right, I can treat it as one unit. Okay, so this SO4 sulfate, SO4 sulfate, I can treat these as one. So calcium, I have one. Carbon, I have one. Oxygen, I have three. Hydrogen, I have two. SO4, I'm treating as one unit. Notice I didn't count these oxygens as part of these. I have one. Calcium, one. SO4, one. Hydrogen, two. Oxygen, one plus two gives me three. And carbon, one. So now I'm going to look and find something that looks kind of complicated. Right? The sulfates match. Carbons are the same number of carbon. Let's double check. Ca1, Ca1. C1, C1. O3, O3. H2, H2. SO4, one. SO4, 1. Hey, this is already balanced, and I don't have to do any more work. All right, question time. A couple of simple questions. Go back in your notes. These are things, oops, sorry. The, holy cow, bad job here. Why must we balance equations? Ah, oh, that's better. All right, and what part of the equation can we change in order to balance it? All right, those things that we have to have memorized. All right, that brings us to the end and I will see you guys in school.